What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another Tackle Tuesday video. Today we are going to be actually going over a little bit of tackle organization, um, especially how it pertains to a co-angler or a bank fisherman. Um, before we get into that though, let's go ahead and announce all our winners from last week's Tackle Tuesday video. We've got Jeff Masaki, Kieran Morris, Jack Mangum, Z Hurl Fishing 78, Chris Sego, Mr. Tully 41, Ajax Knights 14, Stephen Watts, James Barron, Dan McIntosh, Jerry Valentor, Jordan Lee, which if this is the pro Jordan Lee, then maybe you can just send me some stuff instead. Um, just kidding. Um, and then Big Daddy Chester and Rhino Iding, both of those guys are two-time winners. Um, I already have your guys' emails, but um, or your addresses. Um, but everybody who I just named, make sure to send me a message either on Facebook or Instagram at Hooked On Bassin. Um, just send me a screenshot showing me that you are subscribed, and send me your address, and I'm gonna send out a whole bunch of packages later this week. So congratulations to all you guys. Um, if you want a chance for being a two-time winner or if you're new to the channel, um, we do weekly uh, giveaways on the Tackle Tuesday videos. Um, this week, what I'm really curious about is I'm really curious where everybody is from. So um, if you want to be entered into the weekly bait giveaways, make sure you're subscribed and then drop a comment down below and let me know where you're from, city and state. Um, I just Maybe it'll present an opportunity where if I'm traveling somewhere or if you guys live close enough, maybe we can get together and film a video or just go out and catch some fish. So awesome. Thanks uh, so much also for all the people who uh, participated last week. It was a great amount of ideas, uh, a lot of really good ideas. In fact, uh, the tackle, tackle organization video I'm doing today is one of the ideas that one of you guys gave me. So I really appreciate that and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I got this bag. Um, a year or so ago my dad actually got it for me um, and it has been a huge help um, basically for any of you guys who are um, co-anglers or bank fishermen this thing really will help you out I used to just carry like one or two tackle boxes in a backpack and it was just uh, it really limited the amount of stuff I could bring but you see there's a big pocket up here on the front I've got a whole bunch of plastics in here all kinds of crap um, got a couple of spots up here in the front so you can put some pliers or whatever you want to put up there um, there's pockets on both sides I've got mine filled with soft plastics I think I have yeah extra pair of amphibias in here great sunglasses by the way if you guys uh, are interested um, send me a message I'll send you a discount code for those they float and they're military grade um, on the lenses so they really can't break um, see we've got a bunch of other soft plastics here on the side same thing on top I've got a bunch of random stuff in there that I was using on our last tournament this past weekend out on Brookville Lake um, and speaking of that tournament me and Mike actually did win um, if you follow me on Instagram you probably probably already know that but I will have the video out here soon hopefully this week sometime um, but you can see just how much space is actually in here. I've got five boxes, plus there's some random crap down there on the bottom. Um, but there's there's tons of space, and I easily could put another one or two boxes in there. Um, as far as my boxes go, they're pretty um, dysfunctional right now. But for the most part, you can get a general idea. I've got most of my deep diving crankbaits and jerk baits in a box together. Um, another box I have most of my top water and a bunch of swim baits in here I've got another box that is basically designated for all my baits with skirts um, spinner baits chatter baits and then obviously a whole bunch of jigs jigs are one of my favorite baits and they almost always catch fish another box for all my lipless crankbaits and all my square bills and then of course gotta have a terminal tackle box uh, all my hooks weights all kinds of stuff in here um, Ned rig stuff all kinds of random stuff 
So, but you can see that this little bag here, um, there's just tons and tons of space in it. it. Has a big strap so you can throw it over your shoulder, and uh, it's just really, really helpful to have. All right, guys. So yeah, short video today, but thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I highly recommend if you are a bank fisherman or a co-angler that you get yourself a bag like this um, because you can fit so much stuff into it, but it's nice and compact and it's just really set up well. This one is a Okeechobee Fats brand. Um, I think you can get these at Walmart or Dick's, stuff like that. Um, they're not too expensive either. And a lot of times they come with three or four boxes anyways. So all you gotta do is fill it up. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, if you guys want to be entered into the weekly bait giveaways, make sure you're subscribed. And this week, comment down below. Let me know what city and state you're from so maybe in the future we can get together and go out and catch some fish. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay hooked, and we will see you next time. Peace.